Hey guys, Engineer Prepper here. Yeah, I, um, that's my new name of the channel. And so I can get my URL, uh, my custom URL. But I, I, I'll need 100 subscribers so I could be able um, to change it. That's that's the rule. So if you guys could, you know, thumbs up, whatever, subscribe, actually subscribe and thumbs up. Um, that way I could uh, get my 100 subscribers and, and I could do that change the URL so here's the um, <clears throat> the Jeep I'm about to put the engine in tonight before it gets cold in the morning uh, we're supposed to get a, a, a hard freeze uh, cold front is coming in so <clears throat> I just painted um, the back portion of the bed that's going to be covered uh, with the same um, bed liner paint and, uh, and then I'm, uh, on the top part the cab and everything is going to be that military tan color so um so here's hopefully you guys could see that and then I cleaned out the radiator the engine bay let me go over here you guys can see cleaned out the bottles windshield wiper and the the overflow for the radiator so yep the engine's going to be in here in a few minutes, I just thought I'd record video um, before I do that. Alright, see you in a bit. Hey guys, Engineer Prepper here. Alright, the engine is partially in. I just wanted to record this little segment of it. It's a lot more uh, difficult uh, lining things up by yourself um, than previously thought. Uh, I figured it, it, as simple as it was coming out, it was a little bit more difficult putting in. It's not fully in yet. Uh, as you can see, I'm missing the engine bracket, mounting bracket on that side. I got it here somewhere. Um, but I wanted it to get at least the right side in to keep it from shifting on me a little bit. That way now I could just play with it in, in that direction. Um, yeah, scuffed a little bit, scuffed a few things up, but... Um, I just wanted, like I said, I just wanted to record this por portion of the video. Um, zoom. There we go. And uh, there's my little handy tractor to lift the engine in. Um, now what I'm going to do is put it back in the garage and work, work on it in, in the garage. It's starting to get chilly out here. So I just wanted to get the engine at least placed there. That, that way I could uh, work with it inside the garage. So that, that's it for now. Um, it's a good fit, of course. Here's here's it almost in its position, final position. So there's the bracket. Not fully tightened a bit, of course. Alright, so um again, that's oh we're almost there. Uh remember this is just reversed order, so I guess I could part I could call this part uh, eight of the engine swap series um so yeah that's what i'll do remember thumbs up and uh, also uh subscribe so i could be able to get my custom url to uh to change it uh to engineer prepper anyway thanks guys i appreciate it all right engineer prepper here okay you guys a little hook up um when i say Go back in reverse order for my videos. I guess I meant to, you know, I mean it because I tr I installed the right side bracket first, and then I left the uh, the left side bracket out. And because if you have them both on, uh, there's not enough gap here from from the from the from the bed here for to 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 wiggle it in place. So one, one bracket has to be in, then, and then you put on the other. Well, here's the thing. I put, like I said, I put that one on first, and then left this one out, try, thinking I could put it on by moving, rotating the motor to the right a little bit, and maybe putting the bracket in place. Uh-uh. It, it won't happen. Um, what I'm doing now is I took that bracket off. Now I'm putting the left bracket on, and I'm going to slide it, put that side in first, and then I could, I would have more room to wiggle to the left and put the, the left bracket on just like I did in my I think part seven or uh, yeah part seven 
um, sit part video. And uh, yeah, make sure you follow that because I had to take it's a hassle because I, I got engine stands, um, uh, not engine stands, these, um, whatever, uh, to uh, hold it in place while I'm working on it. You know, because again, like I said, I'm working on it by myself. So, <clears throat> to, so that's that's just a suggestion. Uh, make sure that's what you need to do. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm going back to now putting that in, and uh, and uh, I'll be back.